Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the weekend warm-up. Actually, no, it should be called the Preston North End midweek warm-up from Exton, shouldn't it? Because it's the Carabao Cup, Liverpool, the visitors to our fine city at Deepdale this midweek. That's why we're calling it the midweek warm-up, Simon. And because of that, we've got some exclusive chats with Sepp Vandenberg facing his parent club. We've got a chat with Jurgen Klopp from their training grounds at Kirby, but we'll start off by listening to head coach Frankie McAvoy and something to put a smile on your faces after the weekend's disappointment because it's the return from injury of Ali McCann. Yeah, it was disappointing, obviously working my way in, making a fair few sub appearances, started the Cheltenham day game, I thought I was getting myself involved and then I got the call to the start away in QPR and obviously it didn't start too well, went a goal down and then I think it was 20 minutes, 20 minutes on, get taken off injury, which is, which is really disappointing for myself. But it, it, it's, I mean, that sort of thing happens, so there's nothing you can do about that. And I've got myself right. I've had a tough few weeks of rehab, and I'm just buzzing to get back involved. Listen, it, it doesn't matter who they put in the pitch; it's going to be a formidable game. Listen, they're one of the the biggest clubs in the world. You know, fantastic. You know, history about them. Uh, and at the moment, they've probably got one of the top coaches in the world. I don't think there's any questions I doubt about that. Uh, they are they are magnificent. You watch them. I mean, they pass, they move. The front three are electric, uh, and even the ones that, that don't get a game for them at the moment are, are are fantastic players. I mean, you just need to look at the, the last round where they they went with what people say is a second string, and they, they turned over Norwich 3-0 at Norwich. So we know the task that we're facing. It's a monumental task. Nobody's probably given us any hope at all for it to get anything out of the game. But you never know what can happen. You know, it's a cup competition uh, and we'll go and we'll give it our utmost. I think it's a fantastic occasion for the press and supporters to come and enjoy. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you might never ever get that opportunity to play against arguably, you know, one of the top three clubs in world football at the moment. And I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest. I mean, when I came, I couldn't have expected to play Liverpool in the, in the first sort of three months, and, but it's just that type of thing. There's always the chance. And then when you see the draw after the Cheltenham game, you're just hoping it's in the back of your mind, thinking we could get drawn against a team like this. And it's, it's, it's unreal to be involved in. And I just hope it's a, it's a good night for everyone involved with the club. And hopefully we can put a show on and give a good account of ourselves. We know it's going to be, as I said before, we know it's going to be a really tough task, but we'll go and give it our all. Right, let's try and continue with the good news then and get those smiles back on our faces and a reminder of how we've got to this stage of the Carabao Cup. One minute added on at the end of this first half as Potts wins it back. It's now three on three as North End drive forward. Maguire releases Sinclair, one on one. Sinclair lifts it over the keeper and into the back of the net. 17 minutes then have a lap. Oh, Four goal kick from Bishop, straight to Sinclair, who bears down on goal once more. Top save from Bishop to keep out Sinclair, but Reese might keep it alive. Taken down to the byline, keeps it in play. It's still with a mill. Reese who crashes it in. And now North End just toying with those in yellow. Johnson into Reese. There's four forward here for North End. Can they pick the right option? Reese into Cunningham. Pops on the edge of the box back to goal. Has to check out the congested area. Awesome. Whiteman into Sinclair. It's 3 0 to North End. Story carrying the ball out of defence, gives it into Vandenberg. Vandenberg with a loose yeah. pass into the midfield, but Ledson on his toes Go to on. get it. Played forward from Go Johnson. On. Emil Rees in one on one, slots it past the keeper, and Preston North End lead inside the opening seven minutes. And it's just a case of, I suppose, sometimes being patient and waiting for that to be rewarded as Rees is in behind here. But Lavelle Go sees on. him on. spilled by the keeper. Rees picks it up, and it's in the back of the net. 20 yards from. Corner flag on the right wing for North End. Rafferty into Johnson. Johnson finds Maguire on the edge of the box. Tries to turn away from Diagaraga. Finds Reese. Reese sets it up for Ledson. Pick that one out. Wow. Ryan Ledson with wow. a blockbuster for Preston North End. North End come down the left hand side, cutting them down by the byline, feeds it across oh, yeah. goal, Vandenberg's there in front of the away end, Hugo Potty, and North End lead by four goals to two. 
Charlton have got everyone back to try and defend it and keep the ball out. It's in dangerously. And the goal does come from Andrew Hughes. Vandenberg now over the halfway line, finding McCann again. Reese had made his run forward there, but has just had to check back. Cunningham arriving at speed and tries to measure his cross to Rafferty this time. And we'll carry on with it. Here's Reese again now, looking for McCann. He had to really stretch for that. And uh, he wriggles it out for Rafferty. And uh, now Maguire from a difficult angle. And Maguire does score. They were a different class to Cheltenham. Here's Reese going strong. And with a strong finish. He makes it four. And Emil Reese continues the goal scoring fun. Seven for the season for him now. Another in this Carabao Cup. More of the same at Deepdale against Liverpool would be great for us, obviously. But let's crack on with our exclusive interviews. Jurgen Klopp still to come from our chat at their training ground. But first of all, from our training ground, from just over there, in fact, Sepp Vandenberg talking about how he feels taking on his parent club. Uh, so let's just get it out of the way then. Let's talk about the weekend very briefly because I don't think either of us really want to. What's the mood like here at Exton now? Uh, yeah, no, not good, of course. Um, very disappointed. Everyone is very disappointed about the game. Um, to be fair, we came in, of course, beating Coventry 2-1 and we were confident really to, to, to go to Blackpool and then yeah, no, nah, I said before, first half, this didn't was just didn't was good enough. And then I reckon second half, we started well, but then that second goal killed us really, to be fair. But yeah, now nah, everyone is still very disappointed about the game. But at the, at the end of the day, it's happened now and we have another game on Wednesday and then another big game on the weekend. So have to move on. But yeah, no, nah, to be fair, I'm myself still disappointed as well. Uh, we all are. We, we share that. Um, is this the best game or the worst game? To, to then be next, especially given what they did to Manchester United at the weekend? Um, yeah, you can think one or both, but in my opinion, I think it's, it's a good game to bounce back, really. It's, in my opinion, no pressure for us. It's just um, we're playing at home, uh, fans having our back as well. And then playing Liverpool, of course, after the game, you see how good they are. I already knew it before, but now everyone knows it as well. But, yeah, know, it's just yeah, very nice to play and then Again, what I said, no pressure, just us playing our game and um, give it all and then hopefully play a good game. All signs point to yes, have you been involved in this one? We're still waiting as things stand now, just as the sun <laughs> comes out. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a sign of official confirmation. So, um, if selected, of course, for the game yeah. as well. How are you feeling about it? Uh, if I start thinking about it too much, it's um, in my head it's going to be a weird, but yeah, no, nah, like I said, it's... It's a very nice game, of course, they won't play the same team as they did on the weekend against United, but everyone who will be playing is, is world-class anyway, so for me to see, see those faces again, see the players again, see the stuff again, it's just, um, I'm looking forward to it really, but of course it's going to be a bit weird at the start, but I think as when we're playing, if I play, it's going to be a normal game for me and just give it all and hopefully get a win. When the draw was made, my phone automatically went beep, 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 beep. Well, if it did beep, it was on silent, obviously. But you know what I mean in terms of all the texts coming through. So I can't even imagine how many you must have got. So what, how did you feel when you actually saw the draw? What were, you, what were you up to and how many thousands of messages did you end up getting? To be fair, I didn't even know the draw was going to be that night. I, was, I think I was even just playing on my PlayStation and then my phone went crazy and I just opened the first, I just opened my dad, of course, because I was like, what's going on? And he said, did you sell the draw? I was like, now nah, what's happened? And he said, like, you're playing Liverpool. My first thought were like, okay, maybe preferred the Chelsea or anything, but nah, it's, like I said, it's going to be a very nice game. And again, Preston Liverpool, of course, um, some history there as well. So I think everyone's looking forward to it. In terms of your role, might surprise a few Liverpool fans, probably will surprise yeah. Liverpool fans, in terms of you playing at that wing-back position now, because I watched quite a few of the academy games and in terms of when you played in the first team as well. And when you arrived at Preston North End, I just, we all just assumed you were going to be a central defender. So how did that change? Uh, I don't know. Um, of course, when I came, I was the same. I was, came here to play centre-back, but um, they needed me as a right-back. 
and then um, yeah, I came in the team and of course changing formation now playing even as a wing back, so more attacking as well. But yeah, now I'm just doing what what the gaffer wants me to do, and I'm enjoying it. It's more attacking, but you know I reckon some people will be surprised seeing me play there because in my opinion still I'm 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 a centre back, but now people can see I can play somewhere else as well. So. Hopefully I have, a, I have a good game and show them what I can do at wingback. And a goal scorer as well, we know that yeah. as well. You scored in, in an earlier round, didn't you, the League Cup? And yeah. then yeah. the Swansea City goal, as I was saying to you before, that's the, one of the best goals I've ever seen a defender score. I watched it back a few times to be fair. And yeah, I, I just told you, of course, I was a, I was a winger when I was, was younger. So I, f I think when I got the ball in that box, I just, like, I just came on my head to chop it back on my right foot and just smash it in the far corner. But, yeah, now nah, to be fair, it's, it's, it was a very good goal, and uh, hopefully I can make another one on Wednesday. Have you have you chatted to anybody at Liverpool about this one? Do you do you stay in touch with anybody back there? Uh, not really much of the players, of course. Um, I'm still on the I'm still on the group chat of of, the, of all the players, so maybe I'll see some chats going around today or tomorrow about the game. But of course, I'm speaking to um, yeah low managers and stuff like that from from Liverpool and. Um, yeah, no, they're just uh, looking forward to it as well. I'm trying to work out as well whether it's a good thing for you because you know all the players that you'd be facing, they've selected, yeah. for the game, or whether it's a bad thing because they all know you as well from sort of being a teammate. How, how might that work? Uh, I think it's, um, it's in my favour, to be honest. Like I said, they know me as a centre back. Again, if they see me on the pitch, going up and down the right side, they will be surprised as well. So I think they will see a, a whole new player, but nah. Again, it's been, uh, it's been a while since I was there. It's like almost a year now. And of course, I've been uh, developing myself as well. So yeah, now nah, they will see, uh, see a new player there. And of course, for us, it's, it's, it's a little bit easier seeing them playing every weekend and stuff. But yeah, now nah, it's going to be uh, good to see them and for them to see me again. I know how brilliant they are. Liverpool in terms of bringing players on and, and making you better from levels even even now Mo Salah saying he's improving yeah. every day that he's there yeah. as well how do you feel you've improved here yeah really well to be fair it's been um, yeah almost a year now of course last season as well and ever since I came here playing uh, playing all the games it's just it's been really good of course championship itself is it's, it's, it's a tough league and yeah just playing yeah basically three times a week is, is quite tough and I've been I've been feeling well, so that's that's good and fitter than ever, maybe with all those yeah, number no, games. I, I think so, yeah. Just getting the rhythm of doing it every week just makes my body feel fine. To be fair, I'm more tired if I do a week of nothing and then come back, then play three three times a week. So now ever since I came, I just grow as a player. To be fair, of course, physically I've been grown and even playing wise and even understanding of the game. So nah, being here really helped me. Helped so me a lot. sorry. Just finally then, full house at Deep will be the first time that you've encountered that as well. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to that? Of course, the game against Derby was uh, quite full as well, but yeah, nah, both have both Preston and Liverpool fans um, on the lights as well. It's going to be uh, a very impressive game. And again, I'm really looking forward to it and hopefully can make, make it a good game and then make it enjoy to watch. And just finally, if like against Swansea, the ball comes over, you find yourself in the box, you get that one touch, two touch and score. What, what are you going to do? Have you thought about that? <laughs> yeah, of course, people, people have been saying to me and if I score, what I'm going to do, like knee sliding and stuff like that, but yeah, <laughs> kissing the badge, but nah. Again, like I said, if I'm going to think about that one too much, I'm, I might go crazy and I might can't sleep the night before, but we'll see. Again, hopefully I score, hopefully we win. Um, but now nah, we'll see. We'll see what emotions I let out. But I have no clue to be fair. At the moment. You come over to me. We'll be near the dugouts. You, you come over. We'll, we'll sort you out. Yeah, we'll do that. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. So our final big interview of this exclusive weekend warm-up, mid-weekend warm-up, mid-week warm-up, whatever you want to call it, is our chat with Jurgen Klopp. We headed across to their training ground at Kirby for a good old chat. Jürgen, quite a big thing for us at Preston North End. Um, how did you feel when you heard that you were playing one of the biggest teams on the planet? 
<laughs> I couldn't wait. So how I heard now you asked me already six years ago uh, or told me that. I've I, been trying to talk to you about Preston North End for but the I best cannot part. believe that I, that, I, that I didn't do then. But probably I was busy all the time and you, 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 your timing was probably not good. Now we have to talk about it. Yes, yeah, so um, since Ben Davis and Andy Lonergan, then you told me that Reese Williams is not a scouser, but uh, <laughs> from ben. By the way, what, what are you when you're from Preston? Then, a Prestonian, I suppose. A Prestonian? Yeah, do you like that? Sounds a little bit aristocrat. So we cool. are. You we are, are the gentry. <laughs> oh, wow. So now, but I can't wait to see the finally the famous stadium. Um, I'll, t I'll show the pictures now then, because you do mention that, because I'm sure you, you're well aware of the connections between us. I know that. So this is Bill Shankly, who you know all about. Yeah, but I never saw him that young. Great. Interesting if he knew that time already what a legend he will be in the future. Well, he, well, he, I mean, he was a, a play, Preston legend, uh, yeah, and I think I he knew that when he played. <laughs> yeah. He was never shy by all accounts. So that's in 1938 when Preston North End won the FA Cup. That's the last major honour that we've won. We were in the Cup final in 64. Now, in terms of the current celebrations, hopefully when you arrive at Deepdale, you'll see there's a wonderful statue of Sir Tom Finney, who is our all-time greatest player. And Bill Shankly said was probably the greatest all-time player, not just for Preston. So you can see our stands. So that is Alan Kelly, who's our all-time appearance maker. His son, Alan Kelly, is a goalkeeper in his own right. He's the goalkeeping coach at Everton now, if I'll, I'll whisper that one. Sir Tom is on the main stand. We are not perfect. And you can, see, you can see Shanks, yeah. which is behind there. That is where all the Liverpool fans will be sitting. But it looks, so that's, but it, but that's it what looks, that looks like. Still doesn't look that old. So well, you, it was you, rebuilt within uh, the last sort of 20, 30 years or so. So we don't, we don't change in the original dressing room, Bill Shankly changed, that would be... We, we actually got that just for you. So you, <laughs> you're in the car park. No, you're not in the car park. No, it's great Deepdale now from when I was a kid and used to watch it. But it is the oldest continuous use football stadium on the planet. So does, does that sort of history mean anything to you? Absolutely. I love these stories. I really love them. And it's because we, we obviously, I think we all appreciate them now more and more because so many things change and don't change in the right direction. So, and that's why we love these kind of things. Who would have known or thought that in a time when it was built, that it will be the case for that. And probably all the, the, the struggles, the people who built it had to overcome to build a football stadium or whatever football ground in that time. So it's, I, I like to think about these kind of things, absolutely. So, and from now on, obviously, I think completely different about press and and when you will mention it next time. <laughs> How do you prepare for a game like this? I mean, I think just about everybody on the planet knows stuff about Liverpool, but... Completely normal. Come on, Preston is now not playing uh, somewhere, so they play in the championship, and obviously we can we can watch games, and that's what we did, and um, the last few at least. And um, we have a player there with Sir Vandenberg, so we are anyway um, in touch with the club. Um, so yeah, we know as much as we can, apart from and that with the cup competitions, but with that cup competition, because um, it's like we don't know anything about the lineup. We cannot even. Um, imagine it, who will play for them as less or as little they probably can imagine who will play for us. Um, but in the end, it will be there will be two really good football teams and they will face each other. So I will say uh, thank you very much for Sep, by the Welcome. way, obviously for last season and, and for this season, and also for uh, giving us the opportunity to choose him if selected in this match as well. So what sort of questions when you're uh, yourself and your coaching staff do you have to think about when you are putting a player out on loan? You, I presume the club has to be the right fit for you and the player. Absolutely, but in this case now, for the, for in the first moment you, you, you assume it will be the right club, but then the player goes there, then he comes back and in the moment when they're, 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 they're impressed in this case, ask can we have him again on loan? And the player says, oh yeah, I would love to do that. Then you know it's the right place. So that's the safest way to find out it's the right place because these boys in that age group, they want to improve. They want to have opportunities on the pitch, playing on the pitch, um, um, staying on the pitch, being first line up playing, all this kind of stuff. Um, but they want to feel well and needed as well. And that's obviously the case with him. Uh, Preston, Preston is not the best of all seasons, let me say like this. So um, they have... Um, I think in the end they will fight for staying in the league, but that's pretty normal in the championship. And um, so they have to defend a lot. Seb is a defender. So, win-win situation. And I'll end on the history, how we started on the history as well. So, I mean, you mentioned Lonas in there as well, but players like 
Mark Lawrence, who's got a, a big connection with Liverpool and ourselves as well. Are you are you also looking at how the next generation might remember both our football clubs as well? Is that is that part of your DNA? I don't get it. So making the next generation of of legends, I suppose. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be great. But it's. I think it's more tricky nowadays to become this kind of a legend where people, when they think about you, they, they think even on a private basis you were absolutely perfect and stuff like this. We, we, I think our the legends we have and we think about, they were all lucky as well a little bit that we didn't know anything about the private stuff, about going out here and there, stuff like this, that our players today, they can't do that anymore. So that's uh, they, they, I think they well deserved, but it was a bit of a blessing of the early being early born, let me say it like this, that they really could live their life and become the people they became and do what they did and be remembered until today. But how we know, um, it's still possible to do similar things at least. And um, that's what we try here 100%. And we had, from my point of view, 100% um, uh, Preston North End legend here with Andy Lonegan. So he won with us pretty much everything we loved him, um, but now, I think now he's at Everton. Eh? So he was a legend. <laughs> he used to be a legend. He's still uh, a Preston yeah, legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's easy as that. We'll so it's all fine. It's all fine. Uh, but it was really a pleasure to have him around. And um, so there must be obviously a lot of good things happening in Preston. And let's see if we can. Yeah, pff, outstanding. Uh, let's see uh, what we can do there tomorrow night. Well, I, I know. Well, I'm hoping at least Preston North fans will enjoy it. There's, it's a full house, it's a full stadium. Hopefully you get a warm welcome and now you know a little bit more about the history. <laughs> that well. usually doesn't happen in, in, in the surrounding. That's really, that surprised me really. When we, when we played, we used to play in all preseason, the first preseason game, how we understood it, the John Achterberg Cup. The first game, always a tram. A tram in trouble, real problems, stuff like this. So come and go there, let them fill up the stadium, stuff like this. We arrived there and they were shouting and whistling. And said, <laughs> do, do they understand it right? So I will have well, a look you know, how that in Preston works now. We used to have the Bill Shankly Shield. So, in fact, Philip Coutinho made his debut in a Liverpool shirt at Deepdale yeah, and scored wow. after about 14 minutes or something like that as well. So if you ever want to come back again, you're always welcome. Thank you very much. So there you go. That's it for this extra special episode of the weekend midweek warm up, whatever you want to call it. Thank you to Liverpool for your help with getting that interview. And it's a sellout at Deepdale. If you haven't got a ticket, you can always listen on I follow P N E. And as ever, whatever we do, we're all one team and we always end with a come on you whites. <laughs> <laughs>